Hey, what's up guys? What's up? So, um, I, I know that in the last video I said that I was going to um, do a video where I continue the painting I started. Well, I paint over the blackout, uh, the 3D blackout I did in the last video, but um, I had another idea for a, a painting, for an image, and just this was like more ur urgent in my mind, like I, I really was excited to, to do this this image, uh, this is the kind of idea that pops in your head and that you, you really want to do and you can't wait to do it, so I put the other painting on hold. Um, while I do this painting. Uh, what you're seeing now on the screen is not the actual painting. It's uh, so the idea of the the image is uh, about an urban samurai. It's a samurai in a urban over environment in a urban tunnel. Um, and uh, the idea is that there are going to be uh, tiles and graffitis on the walls. Of the environment and that's what I'm doing right now and it's actually the the graffitis and when I was like um, playing with the idea of gra graffitis I, I, what I was watching um, tattoos of Yakuza and um, just Japanese tattoos and uh, Japanese images and paintings uh, so I could have a little bit of um, inspiration for um, the graffitis because I did not want I did not want to make just random stuff you know I just wanted it to be uh, related to, to the ch subject matter which in case in this case is going to be the samurai so yeah here you can see I'm just messing around to do the graffitis it was really a lot of fun to do that just i did not really care about the final results i just wanted to have fun and to see what what would come out of it and just experiment experiment with uh a more graphic graphical um way of doing an image So yeah, I'm gonna quickly hop into Blender. Yeah, there you go. So I'm I'm keeping the scene really, um, really simple, really basic. Uh, there there are no uh, really tough modeling uh, involved in this in this image in this scene. It's really basic stuff, you know, but it's, um, I'm really focusing on, I'm really going to focus uh, in, on the, the lighting and the mood for this image. And uh, just, uh, I thought that would be a good idea to place a, a samurai in a more modern and urban envir environment. The contrast of the two, the two ideas were really appealing to me. So uh, yeah, I decided to do that. I'm still a beginner uh, for Blender, so uh, I'm not doing two things that are too difficult for now. I'm using a lot of media scan as well. So that helps for the textures and for really complicated objects. It's really a gain of time. There you go, there you can see I'm placing the, the graffitis using the UVs of the object. Well, it's not even an object, it's a plane. But yeah. I'm really trying to implement um, 3D into my workflow right now. I'm still. I still don't know if I want to um, keep do, doing that or if I want to have more of a uh, really painterly look and really where it's more of an illustration 
it's all drawn by hand that's um for me that's the real big difference between illustration and concept art it's like concept art is going to use a lot of 3d to to do as fast as possible and illustration tends to focus more on the visual appeal and the aesthetic of the image and so it tends to be more painterly and be painted everything by hand but you can see more and more that illustrations are, are uh, made with photographies and and with the help of 3d actually you know here I'm messing around with the notes for the, the materials of the walls I wanted to give a little um, little bit of witness to the walls want the environment to be really humid which it rains often there if you want to check out um, my last video uh, about why it's so important to learn 3d as a 2d concept artist just check out the, the link of the of, in the description um, i'll put it there because i think it's a really important subject matter because in the beginning when i started to do 3d like i was a bit um i did really i did not really want to use 3d in the beginning i wanted to do everything by hand because i thought it was kind of a cheat uh, kind of cheating but more the more i do it the more i i see that it's a really really useful tool and more and more artists are using that and it's kind of inevitable to to learn um to use 3d if you want to succeed in this industry you can see that there's a lot of green back and forth um in the scene where I, I try to set up the lights and the, the composition and stuff so yeah there's a lot of research because I did not even do a, a sketch for this image I, I really had the, the image really clear in my mind and it's a simple composition so I knew that I could nail it um, in, in, in 3D directly and the, the sketch was more of a waste of time that than um, than really useful but if you're working with uh, for someone else with uh, an art director of course you have to you are going to have to do a, a sketch here I just wanted to experiment for myself my personal work I'm using here the a model of a samurai from uh, sketch fab I'm gonna um, show you on the screen to uh, credit the author, the creator of the, the model. So yeah, it's a cool model, but I'm um, trying to pose it. Uh, reading is kind of tough for me. <laughs> I've never, I haven't really done that before. So it's the first time I read a character. Um, it was pretty, pretty tough, but uh, I'm gonna in the next video, you're gonna see that this is the first part of the video. video. Uh, the first of part of the image is the 3D part. And you're gonna see in the next video uh, that I'm gonna be posting that I'm gonna spend a lot of time painting over the model and doing my own design for the, the, the samurai. Right now, it's just there to uh, to see how the light, uh, how it reacts, it's reacting to light and how the shadows are gonna be and um it's really a stepping stone to to help having the final image so yeah the video is almost done i hope you you enjoyed this one and uh, i'll see you in the next video where i paint over the 3d render 
and yeah i hope this is helpful for you guys and i'll see you in the next one see ya